Hey guys, it's D Money Bala. Today we're going to have a review of this Chromebook. It's a Samsung Chromebook Plus, the first version, and it's got an ARM based processor. We're going to be going over things that I like and dislike about it, and it's going to be a good review, so stay tuned. The best thing about this Chromebook is its display. It's got a 2400 by 1600 QHD display with 400 nits of brightness, and it's a touchscreen. So Android apps work very well with it, and I'm very impressed with how well this display works. Another great thing about this Chromebook is how light it is. It weighs in at 2.38 pounds, and the charger is very negligible as well. It's a USB-C device, so it has charging on both of the USB-C ports, so you can charge it on the left side or the right side. You have the freedom to charge wherever. Also, if you have a USB-C smartphone, you only need one charger for both of your devices, and that's very handy. It's really easy to fit into a backpack, and that's what I'll be demonstrating here. Fits very easily into a backpack. Also, the charger, really lightweight. We're gonna zip this bad boy up, because that's what you do with backpacks. And putting it on, I mean, it doesn't even feel like there's a laptop in there. It feels much more like a notebook or two or a hardback book very easy to carry around. So let's go over the ports that you get with this Chromebook. First port we've got is a headphone jack. You've got two USB-C ports. They both support charging one on either side of the device. And then you've got a micro SD card slot reader to expand the storage that this Chromebook has. On the other side, we've got the volume rocker, the power button, the other USB-C port, and a built-in stylus for styling. So with two USB-C ports, there's gonna be a lot of you that are gonna need an adapter such as this one that goes USB-A to USB-C or Ethernet to USB-C if you don't have a Wi-Fi point available. Um, you can get a dock and those are very helpful to support the limited amount of ports that are on this device. On 3D Mark, we got a score of 1250. The graphics scored 1160 and the physics scored 1712 and you can see the frames per seconds. The graphics tests were really bad, but the physics were pretty decent at 34.6 on the first test. Um, versus all of the other devices that have been tested, ours does 53% better than all of the other devices, so it's right in the middle um, for Android devices. I'm gonna show you how it does at 1440p playback on YouTube. It does pretty well. Um, we're gonna go to settings, we're gonna select 1440p because that's about the resolution that the screen has we're going to full screen it and then we're going to put on the stats for nerds so we can see how many frames we're dropping um, so we've only dropped one frame and so it does really well with 1440p youtube playback chrome os has a linux subsystem and this laptop will run it but it is an ARM-based processor, so not all of the Linux apps that are available for x86 are going to be available for this ARM-based unit. Usually, only the most popular Linux applications are going to be available to install on a laptop such as this. But overall, I really enjoy this laptop, but I would recommend getting the newer version of it so you get more auto-updates from Google. Thank you for watching this video. If you've liked it, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.